It's Friday Sews! Yay! <laughs> well, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Sewing Scenes with Deb and this episode of Friday Sews, which is coming to you either Saturday or Sunday. So a little bit late, but um, I've been busy. Uh, as promised last week, I've had a lot of preparation to do for the um, retreat that I'm going to. So I've been busy um, deciding and then cutting out um, all sorts of things. So I will show you those next week um, and um, explain to you how it all went. So I'm going to try really hard, if I get agreement from everyone, to take some... Um, pictures of the retreat and uh, sh and give you an update on that as well. So before we go any further, what am I wearing? Well, I'm wearing jeans and a pussy bow blouse from Sew Over It. Not sure if you've seen this before. It's made of crepe fabric and how beautiful is the print? Don't you just love green and pink together? Absolutely divine and these beautiful parrots so absolutely love this top and I'm always very, very careful with it because I want it to last. I want it to last for as long as possible. So um, very, very lovely fabric that I got from Spotlight. I made this in 2021, back in April 21. So I've had it for a while and um, I really enjoy wearing it. It's so comfortable and I... I want to make another pussy bow blouse in crepe because it's just so easy to wear. It's cooler than it than I thought it would be and not that um, it's uh, good for really hot days, but it's great for this trans-seasonal sort of weather. Um, so that's what I'm wearing. So this week's, I uh, haven't been able to do any sewing. Um, I have been busy work, with work and various other things um, and other preparation for retreat. Still working on frock tails and I haven't gotten any further on it. I know, I know. Um, anyway, but I bought some fabric. Ooh, I know, I, as if I haven't got enough, but I just had to get this. Last weekend on Sunday, I went to a fabric de stash. Now, it wasn't for me to de stash my fabric, it was for me to just have a quick look because I was busy uh, the rest of the day, but I had an opportunity to just pop up there. Um, it's only 10, minute, 10 or 15 minutes drive and to see what was available. There were a lot of people there, and I bought two pieces of fabric. Um, it, it was the, um, this first one, sorry, is a poly cotton and I just had to get it because it's all the people, all the people on it. And it's, uh, three meters and I've got a mind that I might make a dress out of this. Seems to be a bit of a black and white theme. I've got another black and white dress, don't I? Um, so, but I really love the people on this, so I just had to get it and, um, I'll decide later what to make, um, with it. So that was that one. Um, this next one, uh, was the only other piece of fabric that I got from the D stash and it's a hundred percent cotton. And again, I had to get it because of the print. This was over a metre and it was really cheap. It was only $6. But how gorgeous. Look at all those sewing things on there. We've got thread and tape measures and little messages and scissors and needles. Love it. And some of these are my colours. I'm thinking a skirt for this, um, or we'll see. But um, I'm not in a hurry to um, 
make something out of it but I just had to have this fabric because I loved it so that was that one um, and I came across this lady who was selling all sorts of fabulous things and I got some knitting needles and a couple of other things and I got um, some uh, sewing machine needles and she I think I believe she used to have um, a, a shop and she was selling all her needles honestly I got 12 packets so uh, I got heaps of those all the variety I had, I've got some universal ones some stretch ones some jeans um i got some top stitching ones top stitch uh yeah i got heaps and um some twin needles so that'll do for now i don't need to get any more sewing machine needles um for ages so I was really pleased with those few purchases and I was very pleased that I went to the fabric D stash made the effort because I had something else I had to go to so I didn't have a lot of time so I got in and I spent my money and I got out <laughs> and super cheap fabrics here in Australia has had a 50% off sale so I um, was very excited to go and find a few pieces so um i very uh, happily bought this beautiful printed rayon isn't this pretty purple and yellow and red very nice and it's called lolita autumn i got two meters of this so i think this is going to make a very nice Probably a blouse and maybe even the pussy bow blouse being that it's rayon. So that's going to be beautiful to sew up to. Um, that's that one. And the next one I've got is a piece of lovely linen cotton blend. And I've bought two and a half metres of this. I feel like it's a winter colour, a wintry sort of fabric because it's quite dark so it's like a, a dark blue or royal blue, blue background but it's very nice with the green and the white and a, a touch of mauve in there as well so I think that it's going to be beautiful haven't got a clue I'm going to make out of it um, two and a half meters so that's a cotton linen This next one is a cotton jersey, so um, a stretch fabric, and um, most of you know that um, that's my favourite, or I'm very used to sewing with it. Um, and it's called Lollipop Stripe. I don't often get stripes, so this is kind of a pink colour. Probably hard to look at, sorry. Uh, just got one and a half metres with the view that I might make a long sleeve t-shirt or something like that. So um, just one and a half metres. It's quite wide though, so um, I'll be able to make something, um, you know, it'll be enough for long sleeves as well on that one. Um, this next one I bought from these people before, this um, uh, gingham. So I've got the blue and white gingham. This is beautiful, beautiful and light, and I bought three meters of this with the intention to make a dress with ruffles on it um not don't know which dress but um something with a lot of um gathering so that's um in the pipeline so hopefully i'll get that done for summer so that one is a gingham and it's called nautical of course that's 100 percent cotton all half price how good here's another one there's just two to go and here's another one that looks very wintry to me it's a red and blue check oh, sorry red and black check um quite a classic and it's a linen blend but it's it i don't know what it's blended maybe with something very soft not sure what because it's got quite a bit of drape to it and it's doesn't feel stiff at all like linen does so um 
haven't got a clue what I'm going to make, but I'm thinking something like maybe a jumpsuit. Um, as I'm dying to make a jumpsuit. So we'll see how that one goes. So there, I've got a three metres of that. There's heaps. And the last piece, I couldn't resist this. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a flannelette, pink, uh, and it's got bunny rabbits on it. Isn't that cute? No, I'm not having a granddaughter, to my knowledge, but I just love it. I even thought maybe some pyjamas for myself. I don't know. I'll think about it. Or maybe a baby rug for someone who has a little baby like as a gift. So isn't that lovely? So soft. That is beautiful. So I bought, I actually got three metres of this. It's a lot. But I think what I, what I had in my mind when I ordered it was um, that if I make pyjamas, I'm going to need quite a, an amount. So I thought three metres will probably do me. So, yes, there were my purchases. And it was all online. It didn't take long to be delivered. And I very happily washed it all. And now that I've shown you people, I will fold that back up again, put my stickers on and put it in my cupboard. <laughs> well, I've been thinking hard and experimenting a bit with a jumpsuit for the frock tails. So couldn't decide, is it going to be this gorgeous 60s pattern or this gorgeous 60s pattern, which I secretly love, absolutely love this one, or the Megan Nilsson, the Durban. And I thought I could mash it up a bit. So I've taken... A lot of time, spend a lot of hours taking this pattern out, comparing it against some pair of trousers that I have that I made that fit well. And and then I um, have chopped up a dress that I picked up at a second hand shop. And if I can find the image, I'll put this on the screen now. Um, it hasn't been very successful yet, but I've um, I've got the pants part done. Very wide, uh, but they are skin tight. They're so tight, I have to do something a bit radical about it. So I'm going to have to unpick the side and put a piece in there, I think. Anyway, so that's going to be fun and games in the camp, trying to get that right. Um, so that's the idea, because how gorgeous is this fabric? Looks very 70s, doesn't it? So that's the pants. And because it was a big dress, it was about size 20 or 22. Oh, sorry, no, size 16. Um, so I've still got the top or the bodice part and the sleeve still intact. So I'm still playing with this and trying to figure it all out. It's still got the zip. The zip's still there. Um, so I need to, I'm, I'm still, I'm still toying with it to work out what I'm going to do with it or how it's going to end up. So watch this space. Um, I just wouldn't be surprised if I end up, this does not work out and I have something completely different to wear on the 4th of November at Frocktails. Well, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching and please hit the um, like button or the thumbs up button and um, I shall see you next time. Until then, stay safe, happy sewing and bye for now. Bye.